Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Jurassic World video. Today we'll be taking a look at the Amber Collection lineup and comparing them to their original figure counterparts. Um, I think it's very interesting that there's quite a lot of similarities, sometimes in size or patterning, in comparison to the old Kenner and Hasbro figures, and I'd like to point out a lot of those uh, differences as well as similarities in this video. Um, starting off with the Dilophosaurus, you can see that there's quite a lot more paint detail um, on the Amber Collection figure, but they share a lot of similarities in the patterning as the original figure has the white highlights that separate the green on the body and that uh, darker uh, shade on the back. Um, those two colors are actually quite similar on the figures, but the green on the body are quite different. This one's more of a yellowy green. This is more of like a deep forest green. Um, the head patterns are quite different. Um, <laughs> the original Kenner figure, it's a lot more um, blotchy, whereas the uh, Amber Collection is more refined. They're tighter details. Um, the eyes are the same color and around the same size, which is really nice. Both the figures have these little round scales around the eyes. Um, the Amber Collection one has a nice job of showing the two, like that little um, bridge between the front and the back part of the crest, where the original figure doesn't really have that. Um, the skull shapes are relatively the same. You can see um, where the, go the lips or not the lips, what is that? It's back here, <laughs> um, the skull kind of ends in this little point, same with right there, um, and the inside of the mouth, they're kind of the same color. Um, the neck length is on point, um, this one just has the frill on, I didn't take that off. Um, obviously the Amber Collection one has more details in the claws, they're not as chunky, they have paint on them, same with the feet. But it's interesting that the uh, feet still have that um, bird-like scaling pattern to them. Um, the toes are relatively the same length, same with parts of the leg. It seems like the Kenner ones got like these beefier calves in comparison. It's kind of funny. Um, but they're, yeah, relatively the same shape. Arm length is almost similar. Uh, tail length, let's take a look at that compared to body length. Tail's a little bit longer, yeah, on the Amber Collection one. But overall, that's, I like it, I dig it. Their, their positioning and their proportions are pretty bang on. Um, the paint, obviously, is quite different with those two. Um, for the Jurassic Park Raptor, you can see they've got that brown, obviously, that main part of the Raptor. This one's got stripes, a lot of striping going on on the body, whereas the Amber Collection one is more of like this solid brown. Um, there seems to be like this, the slightest bit of striping. I don't know if you can see it on the tail. It's very, very faint. Um, you can see part of it there, 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 there. Um, where it's more defined on the Kenner version. Um, obviously they're not like in scale. Um, <laughs> and the Kenner one's like more uh, stylized, I should say. Like you can see the feet and the toe claws are super different. Um, head shape's quite different too. <laughs> but they've got the same eye color, which is really nice. Um, and proportionally they are quite similar with tail length and whatnot. The neck's kind of fatter on the Kenner Raptor for sure. Um, and the, the underbelly is kind of light. I mean, it's the same, same there's no gradient in between, whereas there's a clear color difference between the body and underbelly on the Kenner one. Um, they did paint the nails on the Kenner one, which is nice compared to the Dilophosaurus. Um, and that's, yeah, that's relatively it for the Jurassic Park Raptor. Just gotta stand the Dilophosaurus back up. Um, next we'll do the JP3 Raptor. So this one's quite interesting because the uh, 
the toy I've got. I don't have the other Pack Raptor, but I think this one's a bit more on par with some of the colors. Um, they've got the red stripe going down the back, and then this whiter stripe, kind of milky color, following it as well. On the Amber Collection one, they've got the red stripe um, on the back. It's not all the way from the top of the head to the tail tip. It's just on the back here and on the tail tip. Um, whereas this figure, it's very prominent and fat. Um, they did, however, emphasize that white stripe down the side, whereas the uh, Mattel figure, or not Mattel, the uh, Hasbro figure did not. It's less prominent. Um, the legs have a little bit of this uh, zigzag paint job to it. They kind of did that on this. I think the uh, Hasbro one was kind of trying for the leg stripes, like the uh, the Kenner. No, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of brands right now. The um, Mattel, the Mattel one has the stripes. Um, this one's obviously kind of going for that because they've also got this color here on the foot that's prominent here on the figure, um, but they've got their red feet on the Amber Collection figure, which is not on the toys, sadly, but that was a big feature in the movie. They've also got this orange on the butt and the neck, which this figure does not have. The claws on this figure are red. They're not on the Amber Collection. Um, they do both have the red on the crest. The toys is more prominent, whereas the Amber Collection is more realistic to the movie, and the quills are also painted like in the movie, whereas the toy just has them straight red. Um, so they're not as close, like the underbelly of this figure isn't painted, but this one is. Um, but you can see the attempt, it's somewhat similar. Um, the eyes are the best example, they're bang on. Both of these figures' eyes are orange with the yellow around the black pupil, um, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, but no, they're rather the uh, the less similar figures of this uh, grouping here. So next we will do the Tiger Raptor from the Lost World. Um, the heads are pretty similar. You can see the bottom jaw on both are lighter. They've got the coloration around the eyes. Both the eyes are this golden yellow. Um, the teeth are around the same color. Head shape's pretty decent. Um, neck length is also pretty much the same. Um, and the Lost World Raptor, you can see there's spots. On here, the uh, separated darker colors are more of these streaks. Both have the streaks on the arms. Um, the Amber Collection obviously has more detail in that paint aspect. Both figures have whiter colors on the inside of the arms, which is interesting to note, um, which is pretty neat. They both have painted claws. The uh, toy from the original lineup has painted fingers. This one does not have those lines. <laughs> pretty sure they didn't have those lines in the movie. The legs are also painted the same except for the uh, original figure has the stripes on the calf. The new figure has them on the shin, the front of the calf. Um, the original one has stripes on front and back of the thigh. This one just has stripes on the front. And they both have stripes down to the end of the tail. And the tail has that orange gradient. The uh, amber collection is uh, much brighter of a yellow and more prominent. This one's more of like a beigey, I mean, sorry, orange. So this is more prominent, prominent orange. This one's more of like a beigey tan orange. Um, they've got a somewhat similar pattern on their back as well, uh, being fatter, closer to the spine, though the uh, amber collection has it much more fatter than the original. It's a bit slimmer pattern. Um, but these guys are pretty identical when it comes to the patterning and colors. Um, I'd say they're the closest of this lineup in terms of being similar, um, and the next would probably go to, hmm, I guess the Dilophosaurus, or the, uh, the Jurassic Park Raptor, yeah, Dilophosaurus, then Jurassic Park Raptor, then JP3 Raptor. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool that they kinda, you can see similarities in it, like there's vague similarities, vague differences, 
but it's like this gradient of it's the same thing but different styles, right? <laughs> like you can look at both figures and know which uh, which movie they're from. So that's pretty neat, the uh, correlation between them. I think the eyes are the um, the most detailed between the two. Like, every figure has the same eyes. Uh, same color, same shade, same... Yeah, pretty much the same. Um, which is pretty enjoyable. But I don't know what's going to happen to the Amber Collection lineup once... Now that we have the Hammond Collection coming out, I'm pretty sure they cancelled it, but I'd be surprised if they kept producing figures for Amber Collection, because I'd love to see Gallimimus. Um, that would be a spectacular figure to have in this lineup. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it would be awesome if you left a like and a follow, um, and I'll probably, hopefully, see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.